Hi there, my name is Jessica. I use she and her pronouns. And thank you for choosing this video to move with me. I'm super excited that you're here. Uh, today's class is gonna be gentle movement. Um, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna make you feel good and strong in your body. And most of all, I'm moving with you. So we're in this together. For today's class, we're gonna need a couple of blocks. Um, they're not absolutely necessary. I think that they're really nice for ease and comfort. So if you have some blocks, bring them. If you don't, um, you can use some household items that you might have around. Um, I've used a couple of water bottles um, just to offer a little support or stability or height uh, to bring the ground closer to me. So I encourage you to grab whatever you have around the house or just wing it. And uh, let's get started standing here today. So find a nice comfortable stance and that might be um, feet a little bit wider apart like in my body maybe the feet are together and that feels nice and comfortable for you just find some ease in your stance and some awareness on how you're um, how you're holding your weight how you're supporting yourself through the soles of the feet so I like to find that awareness by kind of shifting the weight from side to side maybe front to back and just Noticing where my weight naturally lands, where my center of gravity falls naturally. And then really kind of leaning into that and finding those parts of my feet that I'm not using a whole lot and pressing into those areas, right? So I tend to put a lot of pressure on the inside of my feet. So I'm gonna to try to counterbalance that by um, trying to support myself with the outside edge of my foot a little bit. And so vice versa, if you're the other way around. So find that stability. <sighs> when you find your stability, when you feel nice and grounded in your stance, start to come into the neck and the shoulders. Maybe close the eyes or just soften the gaze, soften the eyes. Maybe look on the ground below, somewhere below you. And find the length in the back of the neck. So sometimes that means drawing the chin down a little bit towards the chest area. Find your shoulders here. Are you anxious? Do you kind of shrug your shoulders up here all the time? Relax them down. Think of the elbows or the hands being weighted and like drawing the shoulders away from the face. And then start to deepen the breath here. On the next inhale. As you receive the next breath, soften the stomach, soften the chest, soften the pelvic region, any place that you feel tense, and allow that breath to really expand through the body to take up space. So maybe you feel the belly pulling out. Maybe you feel the rib cage expanding away from itself on the inhale. And on the exhale, you get a little heavier in the soles of the feet. The shoulders kind of settle back down closer to the earth. And through this breath, no matter how expansive it is in your body, we just really wanna make sure we're taking our time. We're not rushing through the breath. We find a nice, slow pace that feels uh, sustainable throughout our practice, throughout our movement. So even as we start moving, if our heart starts to move with it, our heart rate starts to go up, maybe we start to get a little warmer. Maybe the breath speeds up a little bit, but we're still taking our time to be mindful with it, right? So even if that means we need to take a break in our movement or we need to slow our movement down or change it, our breath is the priority. So tap into that here for just a few more moments. Find that deep breath. Let this be your, your baseline, your guidance, along with me through your practice. <sighs> Find a couple breaths together with a sigh, a heavy audible sigh if you want, or silent. <sighs> Find vinyasa in this movement as your body collapses down, you let the sound escape. <sighs> Very good. Blink your eyes open if they are not already. 
Draw the fingertips down towards the earth, bring them into the middle of the body and on the inhale, open the arms up and overhead. And exhale, draw the arms down with control. We're reaching the fingertips out as we come down. We're using the muscles in our arms. Inhale again, open up. And exhale, collapse down. Inhale, expand, take up space, get bigger. Reach through those fingertips, make yourself taller and exhale. Settle back down. We'll find that one more time. Inhale, reach. Fingertips all the way overhead. Turn the palms together here. Keep the arms extended on the exhale. Step the feet out a little bit wider. Maybe a little bit wider than hip width distance. We just want to lengthen the middle of the body. Find some awareness where we might be feeling tension if it's not already apparent to us. So with the arms up, fingertips up towards the sky, palms facing each other like you're holding a big ball of energy. Start to move the arms over to the right or to the left. Try to keep the integrity of the middle of the body. So we want to try to keep the hips squared off to the front and just notice where you feel this and stop when the intensity builds so that you can keep the breath. You can maintain that awareness in the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, opposite direction. And hold. And breathe. One more breath here. Ah, inhale, back to center. And exhale, draw the arms to um, reach for opposite elbows or forearms. And let's kind of pull the arms back in alignment with the head or behind if we have the space. And just kind of find awareness. Think about that space in the shoulders. Where do you feel this, right? So play with moving the arms forward and backward. See what feels nice. And play with a gentle heart opener. So maybe just the gentle little gentle back bend here nice and simple and come back to center and from here keep the arms elevated we're going to step the feet in a little bit closer together and we're going to prepare for a little gentle wide squat so this is a great place to have some support i'm going to release my arms and grab my support i like to stack up a couple blocks or even just one block just depending on how you're feeling to place right underneath my hips. We're gonna come into a wide squat and that just makes this nice and easy since this is our first major asana for today and it's an intense one. Let's ease into it a little bit, okay? So arms situated over the head. We're gonna draw the, sh the heels in slightly, toes out slightly, and you might have to play with the placement of the hips. You'll, you'll notice where you need to be once you start to lean into this. So from here, release the hands, slide the hands together, palms are together, and then interlace the fingers and bring them right behind the neck. Draw the elbows slightly forward and kind of let your head hang back in the hands here while your hands kind of give yourself um, some counter resistance. So nice and gentle. And we're going to start to bend into the knees and sit back into the hips. So you might get it right about here and you're like, this is all <laughs> this is all that's there for me today. And that's fine. Come down as far as you need to. And as you come down, use your hands behind your head to kind of weigh or anchor yourself down if you're coming all the way down and find your support under the hips if you're using that and just kind of hang out here for a moment. Release the hands. You can bring them out. You can bring them to heart center. You can adjust yourself as needed. Find out how you want to hang out here. That feels good to me. Maybe come back into the neck, back into the shoulders. Or sit up tall. Take a few more moments of breath here, just breathing in to the sensation, into the intensity. And 
and then when you are ready, we're going to inhale to come out of this. So lifting off of your support, coming back into the heels or bringing the hands down into the earth. Find your way out. Lengthen through the legs, sway the hips from side to side, nice and gently. And then walk the hands up the legs, come all the way up to standing, reach the arms up and out. Big inhale, <sighs> exhale, release the hands down to the sides, roll the neck out. Okay. Slightly warmed up. Maybe you have a little bit of awareness in the body. Let's um, let's get into it. So, if you have blocks, if you're using support, situate them towards the front of your mat so that you can access them easily. We'll step towards the front of the mat, giving ourselves some space to move. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hang out here for a breath. And if this feels really intense, if it feels hard to breathe slowly and deeply, open those legs up a little bit more, bend into the knees. You can bring the hands to your support. Give yourself that space to find breath. And to find depth in the posture. So if you need support to find that depth, if you're hanging out on the shallow end of your breath, find some support, ease out of this a little bit, maybe bend those knees as I mentioned, make space in the legs. Loosen up the neck. And then on the next inhale, halfway lift, lift the torso up, lift the chest up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, melt back down. Inhale, bring the arms out and up overhead. And then hands to heart center on your next exhale. Drop the hands. Inhale, lift the arms up. Fingertips are really active, pointing to the sky. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Press those sits bones back. Exhale, melt down. Let the belly hang out on the thighs. Inhale, lift all the way up, however you want to get up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Release the hands down. Next inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Yes, halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, all the way up, upward salute. Exhale, hands at heart center. We're gonna add on to this from here, release the hands. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, melt down. Halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plant the hands down to the blocks or to the ground. We're gonna step back with the left leg, all the way back, come to the toes, come to the ball of the foot. Hang out in this lunge here for a moment. So hands are planted down, front knee is bent on the ball or the toes of the back leg. And take some space here. So if your belly is in the way, heel toe this front foot out a little bit to make some space as you see me do here. Um, and then gently come down onto that knee. Walk the hands up towards the knee here. Hmm. Maybe shift the hips forward, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. And to curl the back toe under. Inhale, lift the knee, step forward. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, lift all the way up, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, melt down. Halfway lift. Exhale, step back with the right foot here. Big step back, come back onto that lunge. 
Remember, find that front foot placement if you need some space. Take a moment here. And then gently come down onto that knee. We'll find the lunge on this side. Walk the hands up to the knee. Lift the chest. Lift the shoulders up here. Lift up out of the knee and the foot here. Instead of just being heavy, energetically lift that heart up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Curl the back toe under. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step forward. Ooh, take a breath here. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Next inhale, lift up. Yeah. Bend through the knees, reach through the fingertips. <sighs> Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the hands, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, left foot steps back again. Find that lunge. Take your time. Big step back. Get comfortable here. Hmm. Take a moment. Relax the neck. Shake out the face. <laughs> shake out the neck. Shake out the head. Soften the face. Ooh. Send this left hip flexor a little bit closer down to the ground if you can. Spiral the chest open to the right knee. And then gently lower back down onto that knee. So coming back into this low lunge. Take your time to get your space together. Make sure you're feeling nice and supported here. Reach forward, lift up. Exhale, hands come down, frame the foot. We're gonna find a half split here. So come back and extend this front leg. You might need to lift your heel up and place it forward a little bit more. And we're gonna dig this heel down and send this hip flexor back, flexing the toes up towards your face. Make sure you're not sitting all the way back on the heel that takes away from the lengthening in this front leg here. Yeah. And why would you wanna do that? <laughs> Inhale, come back into this lunge. You can keep your hands down or you can lift the arms up. Ooh, exhale, hands come down. Curl the back toe under on the inhale. Lift the knee up. Exhale, step forward. Hang out here. Take a breath. Sigh it out. You're doing amazing. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, melt. Next inhale, all the way up. Upward salute, reach the fingertips up. Mm, tuck that chin. Exhale, hands at heart center. Yeah. Release the hands on the next inhale, upward salute, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Ah, plant the hands down, right leg steps back. High lunge. Bend into that front knee. And let's release this hip down a little bit. Spiral the chest over to the left side. Find a breath. Come back to center, lower that right knee down. Find your lunge here, hands come up. Reach the arms up, shift the hips forward. Exhale, hands come down, find your half splits here. Flex through those toes. Left hip flexor comes back. And find that lunge again. Reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, curl the toe under, lift. Exhale, step forward. Ah, and sigh it out. In this forward fold, halfway lift. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, reach up. Upward salute. Exhale, hands at heart center. <sighs> Take it here. Take it here for a beat. Yeah. Just a moment. Just a few breaths. Tune in. What are you feeling? Are you feeling strong in the thighs? Are they shaking a little bit? <laughs> are you breaking a sweat finally? Ah, are you feeling powerful? Are you feeling anxious? Just notice. 
What emotions are right on the surface? What have we pushed through? Maybe you're feeling grateful for this opportunity to be in tune with your body, to move in a loving way, to build strength, to cultivate community, a sense of self-awareness, a sense of self-love. Mm. Feel your feelings. Ah. Release the hands. Inhale the arms up. Upward salute. We have one more round of this. We're almost there. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down. Left leg steps back. We're staying with that high lunge. You're gonna switch it up here just a little bit. So that last round, I had you kind of spin the chest open a little bit here. So let's plant this hand all the way down to the ground or to our support if we're using it. And we're gonna bring the right arm off the mat completely this time. You can bring it to the knee. You can bring it to the hip. You can bring it up to the sky and roll to the outside of the right foot. Keep that knee lifted if you can. Bring it down to the ground, no problem with that. Wherever you are, hold strong. Two more breaths, you got it. And exhale, spiral the hands down. Lower that knee back down to the ground. Come into that modified lunge. Hands come up to the knee here, lift up. Exhale, you got it, half splits. Take your time, find your positioning. Flex the toes up towards your face. Try to keep length in the spine. Try not to completely collapse down here, unless that feels good for you. Inhale, come back to the lunge here. Lift the arms up. Exhale, hands come down, curl the toe under. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, step it through. Hang out here. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. You got this, one more round. <laughs> Smile, inhale, upward salute, arms up over the head. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plump hands down, right leg steps back, find that lunge. We're gonna get right into it, find your twist. Plant that right hand down, come down on the knee if you need to. Spiral, open up. You are strong, you are supported, you are incredible. Back to center, lower down onto the knee, and comes to the thigh, lift up. Tuck the tailbone, shift the hips forward. One more breath. Exhale, half splits here. Flex the toes up towards the face. Inhale, find that lunge again. Exhale, hands come down, curl the toe under. Big inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, forward fold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are the thighs trembling? <laughs> Mine are. Halfway lift. Make this the best one. Ah, fold. Let it go. Upward salute, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hold it here for just a few moments. Soften the face. Close the eyes. Enjoy the silence for just a moment. Just 
tune in to the sensation on your skin, to maybe the sound of your beating heart, the sound of your breath. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you have some sweat rolling into your mouth and you can taste that. There's evidence that your body is alive, that your body is supporting you. Your, your body is like doing everything it possibly can to take care of you, to carry you through whatever it is you ask of it. Just tune into the magic, the magic that is your amazing body. Last breath standing here. We're going to come all the way down. Ah, release the hands here. Shake out the arms for a moment before we lift up. One last time, upward salute, reach up. Fingertips are active. We've done this pose about 27 times already. You are an expert. <laughs> Exhale, fold. Yeah, let's hang out here for another couple breaths. Just feel the openness, the space that we created. Relax the face. Halfway lift. Roll that spine out nice and long. And exhale, hands come down. Come onto the knees. Come down onto the knees. Take a child's pose. Nice and wide knees. Send the hips back towards the heels. Extend the arms forward. And you can bring the forehead down to the mat or to the forearms. You can use a pillow. You can just come onto your back if you want to skip this whole child pose. That's fine. This posture is really about finding space in the spine. Still pulling the hips in the opposite direction of the arms with like some passive weight from the lower body. It can help with that, but sometimes it just doesn't feel good in our body. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging that and just dealing with it. So if this isn't your jam, let's come onto the back and just bring the knees into the chest nice and wide. If you are in this child pose, on the next exhale, soften and relax the lower body and press those hips back a little closer to the heels. Even if they're inches, miles away, just press in that direction, find some space. And we'll inhale and lift up from here. Come on to hands and knees. And if you're not already on your back, let's find our way there together. And take your time to gently lay down on the back. We're going to take a block, a pillow, a blanket, anything you have that you can support yourself with. And we're going to bring it right up under the hips. So with the feet on the, on the ground here, walk the heels a little bit closer to your body and just lift the hips up off of the ground enough to bring your block or your blanket or your little pillow up underneath the hips or the sacrum area for a little supported bridge pose. And just allow your weight to rest there. And kind of enjoy that release of putting a little bit of pressure in the low back. If this feels good, if you like it, you can elevate the legs. I like to bring the knees into the body because that feels good on me, but that might not be an option for you. So you can keep the feet rooted, grounded, you can find any position that feels good here. These are <laughs> always just suggestions. So find the last moments of our practice in silence here. And I invite you to Explore the silence and leave some space for your mind, your intuition, your center of wisdom to come forward. Anything that your, your background mind, your true self 
wants to explore. Or just enjoy the silence if nothing comes up. Just enjoy the physicality of being in this body, of being able to explore the senses that we've triggered through our practice today. And at this time, if you'd like to find your final Shavasana, I invite you to come off of your prop if you're using one and allow your body to unfold either in a traditional posture or with support. Begin to deepen the breath here and find some movement back in the fingers and toes. Or you can choose to extend this restful portion of our practice for as long as you'd like. Again, my name is Jessica. I'm so glad that you joined me here and I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs>